Hey there Gunners, 3DP Gunner here. First off, I want to start off with all the positives. Um, first, plus side for me is, I mean, it's 5.7 by 28, great velocity, a very compact cartridge, very light round, and it's easier to carry more rounds with less recoil. With the MMP 5.7, it also comes with two 22 round mags, which is very great. Another plus side about the MP57 is it's pretty compact. Well, I mean, it's a full-size gun, but it's about the size of a Glock 17. So it still can be um, carried comfortably. It comes from the factory with optic cut and all-new temple barrel system that is also supposed to give the firearm a little less recoil. And it's also internal hammer fire gas operated blowback barrel which I'll get a little bit more into a little more in the video the MMP is also ambidextrous from both sides so you can operate it from either side has a, a great trigger pull a, a flat face trigger which about with about 400 rounds after 500 rounds it's at about 3.5 which is also very good Take up, reset. <coughs> Those are some of the positive. Now it's time for the negatives or the downsides of the MMP57. And there's not very much. Uh, first negative was it was having mag issues. So I broke the mag down, which it had an extra follower, which is also a plus side. Um, I don't know if Smith & Wesson does that on purpose since they're... Um, I have heard of it happening in the past to other people with the MMP57. Um, second negative is after about 400 rounds the firing pin broke, which is also an issue I've heard from in the past. Um, so what I did was I contacted Smith & Wesson customer service. Uh, they wanted me to send the firearm back to get the firing pin replaced which I was told would take about eight weeks or longer to have firing pin replaced. I was getting ready to send the firearm back and then I thought, hey, I mean, I don't want to send it out. I could do the service myself. I contacted Smith & Wesson my, uh, once again. I let them know that I did not want to wait that long and I would like to perform. Um, you know, I'd like to replace the firing pin myself. Um, two weeks later, they had one sent out, which I was very thankful for um after calling a few more times and getting a few great agents and some very rude ones which i will not say names because i am very thankful that the firing pin well, was finally sent out uh, another downside is that there's not very much accessories for this gun it might be because it's still fairly new um hopefully they'll come out with some new stuff here in the future just so we can have more out with the MMP57. Okay, so now let's do a quick breakdown. Um, it's a very simple breakdown. What you do is you pull it back just about, about an inch. Uh, you could use the 5.7 round. Uh, you could use anything sharp, a small punch. I usually just use my finger. I uh, pull it out of this side and then just give it a slight push. It comes right off. And here's the frame, which I was saying is an internal hammer fire, which is very new for Smith & Wesson. It does look like a striker fire firearm, but it's not. I mean, <laughs> it does have ambidextrous controls, um, safety. You can also switch out the mag release to be uh, left-handed. Uh, great firearm very comfortable very thin it does have a long handle um, great trigger um, it's about 3.5 pull okay now let's get into the barrel uh, it is like I was explaining all new barrel system that they did put into the new MMP57 it's um, a barrel shroud with the barrel uh, the barrel leaves the the cartridge it starts to leave the barrel, uh, passes that hole, which in turn causes it to do blowback, which is blowback operated barrel. And like I mentioned, it did come with two 22 round magazines, uh, which one I was having issues with. 
and I took it down and it did have an extra follower in there so if you do have the MMP57 and you're having issues with the magazine make sure you don't have a second follower as well alrighty so now let's get to the firing pin after about 400 rounds I did uh, uh, get a broken firing pin which it did break right where you would think it break it would break on it they are very thin seem very fragile but it is a five seven round so it doesn't take much to hit that um, you know that primer okay, it does have a metal recoil rod a stainless steel I do believe and uh, if you do uh, I, I looked high and far everywhere for the firing pins. I was not able to find them anywhere uh, aftermarket, so that led me to contact Smith and Wesson when they sent out. Uh, they did send out an extra firing pin. Uh, it's the part number. If you ever have that issue, and um, that there about concludes it with this video um i do gotta say i do love the mmp57 i do plan on keeping this firearm for a good little while and also i don't know if you guys didn't notice mine is the first mmp57 i called it here first to be polished stainless steel so thank you guys thank you all my gunners and don't forget to check out my Patreon page at patreon.com slash 3dpgunner. Thank you for your time and you guys have a great day. Ciao.